Happy New Year's Eve. I'm News for Jack's meteorologist Rebecca checking in on the latest with your forecast. We're in for a mild evening. In fact, we hit 80 today at the airport, making it one of the top 10 New Year's Eve days we've seen locally. And we're going to be in the mid 60s at midnight to ring in the new year. Just to give you some perspective, normally we top out in the mid 60s. That's our average high this time of the year, not what we're seeing at midnight. So certainly running warmer than average to end the year and begin as well. We're headed back into the upper 70s, possible low 80s on New Year's Day. We're in for a mild evening. We've got a few clouds out there and we're prone to patchy fog as we get down into the low 60s after midnight. After a nice warm start in the 60s tomorrow, we get even warmer, topping out in the upper 70s, maybe 80 degrees, challenging some high temperature records around town. Partly cloudy skies and the breezy southerly winds do continue. Saturday's forecast has dried out a little bit for most of us. We'll start to see showers push into southeastern Georgia during the day on Saturday and into northeastern Florida during the evening on Saturday. It could rain overnight Saturday night into Sunday morning. Our southern zones will wake up damp on Sunday morning. After that, the cold front behind the showers pushes through and clears us out. A chilly breeze during the afternoon hours on Sunday could mean that we're cooling off instead of warming up under sunny skies, only topping out in the upper 60s on Sunday. Then we wake up around 40 degrees on Monday morning and only make it up to 63. Low 40s again on Tuesday morning, mostly sunny skies as well. The good news about the work week is the winds finally calm down. In between now and Sunday will be rather breezy. The winds are back down into the 5 to 10 mile per hour range on Monday, but it is a little on the chilly side. The good news with this cold front is no freezes on the seven day forecast. For more information, you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great New Year's Eve.